Hello, glad to be back with you again. Another day, amen. Weather's good, not too bad. It ain't snowing, amen. It's not raining, not here anyway. So glad to be back with you. Thank God for letting us live to see another day. God know what he's doing. You know, all these things are going on. He say, well, God let us live to see another day. These things going on, yeah, he have a reason why. So must got a little more, more time. We need to get it right with God. And then don't rush the Lord because if he ain't ready for you, thank God because... <laughs> It means that something is going on that he need to do, do more work on us. I do more things to let us see to prepare ourselves for his new heaven and new earth. So God is good. He care about us. He don't like to see what's going on. He not enjoying what's going on, but he told us it's going to happen. So we just have to accept it and keep on, keep it on and looking for Jesus in our heart and mind and doing what he told us to do. Love one another, pray for one another, because we know we got the wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes and all kinds of things are truly going on the way it's talked about in the book of Revelation. And so we got a job to do, especially we as Christians and believing in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are heads of spokesmen. We speak for Jesus. We tell you what Jesus wants you to hear. Praise the Lord. And we will lead you to Jesus. Amen. If you want to, and you can read the Bible and let Jesus talk to you from his scriptures, from his word. And what he said in his Bible is going to come true. And what he don't put in there is not going to come true. So we got to believe his word because he truly is real and God is our creator. So I thank God for every day, even though I know some bad days you say, why you thank God for it? Because it ain't good. But yet it's still a reason why God woke us up this morning. Here's a gift from God. He did have to, but he did. So whatever it is he want to do, let God do it because he ain't going to do nothing that will hurt us. Anything he do for us, it'll be to help us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to say you might think it seem bad and wow, you know, but uh, sometimes these things cause us to turn to God and sometimes it causes people to turn away from the Lord. But these things have to be done. God's word cannot be changed. Once it's been put down, it have to happen the way he said it was going to happen. But he said, I got a way out for everybody that want that way out. And that's through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise God. We'll be down here for a while. We won't be down here forever. But in that new heaven and new earth, we'll be there forever. And that's what we should be looking forward to and asking God to help us to cleanse us from anything that's not right, that's pleasing in his sight, that we'll be able to go into that new heaven and new earth. Praise God. Amen. It, it all is going down on and sickness and ups and downs and pains and headaches, arthritis, all these things going on. When we get to glorify our body, none of that is in that. Praise God. I know it might be hard for some people to believe, but I believe because my mind and my heart have been changed through the spirit of the Lord. Once I start believing in God, the Son and Holy Spirit, I, my, my life changed and it will change you to the better, not to the worse. Everything, the people are getting so hateful. They are getting so mean. Uh, they just mad with you for nothing, and, and going, you, it's just you gotta pray to go in out out house. You gotta pray in your house. You gotta pray when you in the stores and everywhere because Satan is busy. He trying to make us be after one another, mad with one another, hurting one another up. Cause he know God ain't gonna let you up in that new kingdom and new earth, and we fighting and fussing and hating one another and all. But we to have the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We have power over that. We know not to do that, and we won't do that. Lean to God's understanding, not that understanding that come from us. We let God fix our situation. We don't fix it. Put it in the hands of God. Let him take care of because he's the only one that can take care of these things. Anything we try to do, we're going to get more and more in trouble with it. So thank God for the love and all the saints of God, showing their love for one another, helping one another, praying for one another, being obedient to the way God wants us to be. And that's a good thing, not a bad thing. But I'm going to be coming to you... Um, Today with um, uh, St. John, it's going to be St. John, the 11th chapter, and it's talking about Martha and, and Mary and, and Lazarus, and we know the story about that, praise God. We that saved surely knew it because it has been taught to us, preached to us many times, praise the Lord. Amen. If you've been, a, especially if you've been a Christian on this journey a long time, you have heard it many times, and it gives you hope, it gives you help. So when you feel bad and feel sick, knowing that God ain't forgotten you, you might go through these little things every now and then, but he's coming back. He's coming back and heal you and pick you up and turn you around, as they say. I'm talking spiritual and get your mind back on what he wanted to be on and off your sickness, off your troubles, off your problems. And you'll be so happy, and then you say, and then it learns us that if God healed us one time or something, he's going to heal us for the next, if he says, well, if it's not time for us to leave this earth, he will heal us, because he can use us to his glory, and I'm glad he want God to use me. I'd rather put God to use me and Satan, because if Satan used you, you're going to be fussing and fighting and hating one another and doing all kind of mind of evil against one another, but it's God, and as we have a peaceful mind, we won't fall for those things, and we know it's not of God. 
And we're glad to lean to God. We're glad to be happy to do the things God wants us to do. Praise the Lord. And, and everybody got to have that experience for themselves. Nobody can have it for them. My mother can't have it for me. I couldn't have it for her. Praise the Lord. Bless her soul. She died in the Lord. And I'm glad she did. My father did too. I'm glad. Thank God. Because they, they wasn't saved all their life. I seen their life before they got saved. And I seen their life after they had gotten saved. And they changed when they started, what I'm saying, gotten saved, believing in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And they believe in the new heaven and the new earth. And they know they had to change their lifestyle in order to get there. And I'm glad that they did. Praise God. And it took a while. Well, they said they did it in the next day, the next minute. But it took a while. But thank God they did it in time before they, before God required their life to leave this, this body. And uh, they made it. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. I am so glad about it. That you, the way they talked, what they said, that you know that they had the Holy Spirit and they was ready to go back to God. And my mother said when she was sick, she said, I'll be glad when Jesus takes me. I'm tired of being sick. But uh, sometimes the sickness that we have is to the glory of God. And sometimes it's not into death. And sometimes sickness we have is to death. But the thing is, having our soul and our spirits great with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you won't be afraid of those things that you can't help. You can't stop it. It's going to happen. But if you die with the Lord and trust in him, you're happy. You know he's with you. He's going to go through the darkness time. time. He's going to go, what I'm trying to say is, he'll go through the dark times with you. he go to the good times with you. Bad times, the ups and the downs, or whatever. Jesus is always with us. I mean, if you born again, you know He's there, and you can go through these things without being afraid, because you know the Lord Jesus is with us. And that's what He told Martha and Mary. And He told them when they come and told him that Lazarus was sick. This is what the, uh, Saint John the eleventh chapter, the, the fourth verse. So, well, you can go to the first and to all the way down to the fourth verse, and, and further if you want to read it. And they tell you, it gives you hope, it gives you uh, strength to know when you're sick. It ain't all time into doubt. Sometimes. The sickness that we go through, ups and downs th that we go through, is to the glory of God. And when He delivers us from these things, you say, Well, it all, Lord, as I said before, he, we will say, God, let me deliver me from that. He can deliver me for this if it's His will. If this is not a sickness unto death, I will be doing this to the glory of God. And it makes you feel good because what you're telling is a true story. You see, I know what I was and I know what I went through and I know I couldn't have come out of this if God didn't help me. Praise God. And it was the same thing Martha and Mary were saying about Lazarus. They, he was sick. He was sick unto death. And they, that's what they thought. And so Jesus said, no, I said, this is not a sickness unto death. Praise the Lord, but they didn't understand it at first because he said, this is for the glory of God. So every time a child of God go through something and have an experience, they share that testimony with others and give everybody else courage to do what they said to the Lord and don't worry about it. God is with you. Get prayers. Tell saints, get along. Church, be happy. And not pray God. Don't be mad with one another. That's not of God. Don't like things. You don't supposed to like things if it's not right. Praise God, but we still leave it all to God because he do not have the power to just fix it all up. Praise God. He said, leave it to me. I'll fix it, whatever it is. So through these trials and tribulations that we have, don't lose your heart. Don't lose your faith in God. It's, a, it's to the glory of God. Let him be magnified through us. Praise the Lord. Those that especially saying things of God. Praise the Lord. And you can pray for those that don't believe in God and God will heal them just by your prayers because you as a believer, you trust in God, you live by the spirit of God in you. You please in God and he'll use you to his glory, but we don't get the glory. God get the glory. So I didn't do it. God did it. All I did just was a vessel being used by God. That's what we are, a vessel being, what I'm trying to say, we are a vessel being used by God. So read St. John, the 11th chapter, 1 to the 4th verse and more if you want to. It'll really, really help your heart because you might have somebody that's sick in your family. And you know, sometimes we go to nursing homes and different hospitals and things and we pray for people. Then sometimes you go there to visit your family member and they don't know you praying for them. The nurses, the doctors, all of them praying from God will help them do their job and help them to get through. Because you know the enemy is fighting them. And if they don't, if God don't stand up for them, they will lose, praise God. We can't beat Oh, Satan, only God can. We'll lose the fight. But with God in us and our prayers, we'll win the fight every time. He don't have no power over us no more. Thank you, Jesus. Since Jesus went to that cross and died on the cross for us and took the power of death and hell out of the hands of Satan. He can't do anything else. Now it's our time. Now it's up to us. Believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, seeing all these things going on in this world, you wouldn't have much to tell me to believe, I, but, but I know I'm a believer already, but I, I, I didn't always been a believer. But when I'd heard, I started, something happened to me, different in my heart and my mind. I was a young, young girl, praise the Lord, and I thank God for that. And he helped me and helped me and helped me all the way up until this day, still helping me. And he see fit to use me to his glory. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for, 
for his glory, what I'm trying to say. I'm not doing it for me. I'm not doing it to get no fame, fame and all that kind of stuff. I'm doing this to the glory of God, and I'm concerned about the ones that don't know God, that they need to know the Lord. My family and the family need to know the Lord before it's too late because this world is not going to stand forever, and people are leaving this world day every day. Not no one, two people, but many, many people around the world. So much tragedy. Now, if there ain't a wall going out in the country, there's a, a hurricane, a mudslide, a flash mud flood, all those different kinds of things and, and, and volcanoes and different things is just happening around the world everywhere. There's nowhere you can go to get away from it. And the Bible says that it's going to come a time where it's going to be nowhere you can hide. Praise the Lord, nowhere but in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So let's continue that save, continue on with God and you are not saved. We pray you get saved so you can hide in the Lord too. won't be afraid of these things that are coming up on this world because we can't stop it anyway. Pray that we can't run from it. So, but anyway, let's run to Jesus. I'm so glad I have him. I'm so glad God seen fit to use me for his glory to tell you about Jesus. Jesus loves you. He will never forsake you. He will never turn you away regardless of what you did. Not that it's right, but he will save you from it. If you got it, sorry from, of it, he will save you from it. But if you enjoy these things and, and don't care and all that, then that's you in trouble and don't even know it. You're in big, big trouble and don't even know it because Jesus is our only way out of happiness and peace out of this world when it comes to an end. So I love you with the love of God in my heart. I'm going to say a short word of prayer to for everybody. Praise God. I love people because of Jesus being in me. While Jesus wasn't in me, I'd probably be just like a lot of other people. Don't care about nobody but myself. I'm hurting people and causing all kinds of trouble for other people's prayers. God, but God said, trouble going to come up on you too. Praise the Lord. And I'm telling you, if you ain't saved, God, God, when your trouble come up on you, he's going to overtake you and he's going to destroy you, destroy your mind, your, your everything. You won't, you won't know, you, you won't know your right, your right from your left. You just be going just like a wild horse with no, nothing in his mouth to guide it. The Holy Spirit guides us and leads us and helps us to be what God wants us to do. Without the Holy Spirit, we just, just blabble on. We don't care about people's feelings. We don't care about our own feelings. We don't care about what, what happened to us. At least we say that. But once we get in trouble, we <laughs> you find telling all kinds of untruth to get out of the trouble. So now if you're big and bad when you're doing the trouble, then stand up for it. But it don't work that way. Not if you're a sinner. You're going to tell you something ain't right. You're going to say something that is, is not right in order to get out of something you know you did for sure. But you try to deceive people and make them think you didn't do it. You make up all kinds of stories and, and everything. But that, that's not that. But God sees. God knows what you did and what you didn't do. You will never stand before God and tell him you didn't do certain things. When he bring it for you like a, somebody turn the TV on, you ain't going to be able to say, oh, no, I didn't. Because you're going to look over it and your mouth going wide open. You can say, I did it. You're going to admit it. Just like when the time comes when Satan, when he's last... Uh, battle up on this up on this earth with God because that's what he's doing he's using us to fight against God he's gonna be they said the angel's gonna bring him down to his knees and he's gonna admit that Jesus is the son of God and he ain't gonna have no choice but it's not gonna get him out where he going where he going gonna be punished forever and ever he will never get out like when we go to heaven you save and have the Holy Spirit and you down in the Lord your soul will live forever. You will never have to worry about these things that we're concerned about now in this world and in this body. Sickness feel good today, feel bad tomorrow. You know, we have to work. We have to do this. We have to do that. And sometimes we work so hard, we make ourselves sick. So we we in that kind of a body. But thank God offers us a body through our body. I'm trying to say through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we believe in him that we won't have to go through that. But we can't get it until we leave this world. Because we got we got to leave this body. We got to leave it, let it go back to the dust and go have get that new body that Jesus had for us, a spiritual body like Jesus and, and angels in heaven. Praise the Lord. I don't know what your time going to be. I don't know what my time going to be, but we know the world ain't going to be forever. It is coming to a close, and I don't know how long it's going to be. Jesus said, I don't even know until God tell me it's time to go get my church because the word the world is, is at the end of your turn. Praise the Lord. But there's so much happening to it. It's cracking it. The, uh, the hurricanes and like I said, and, and, and volcanoes, uh, those, and they say the Bible tells us that the world is not going to be destroyed by water this time. It's going to be destroyed by fire. So when I hear about these volcanoes and the fires breaking out and going all over people and burning up people's homes and all, out of control, the five the people's five people's can't even control it. They're getting hurt. Some are losing their life and everything. Those are the signs. Those are the signs of that fire, that I'm telling you. All this war, all of the all this all the hurricanes and all that we see and all that going on, all that flooding and all, that's not gonna make the world come to the end. It's those it's those volcanoes that fire. 
This is going to be described by fire this time. Praise the Lord. And then I'm, I'm telling you, I don't want to be among you. And I don't want to be in the world when it happened. And I hope and pray that you don't either. Praise God. Ms. Chalk, we're going to pray for you. Pray God continue to bless you and keep you from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger. And bless your family, family, family. And your children in school, out of school, wherever they may be at in college. Bless them, God, and have mercy upon them all. Lord Jesus, all of us need you, Jesus. Without you, we cannot make it, Lord. Thank you for having mercy on us, Lord. When we're in our sins, because we know we don't know no better. But, Lord, when we do come to know better with your help through the Holy Spirit, then you expect us to do better, praise God, because the Holy Spirit will help us to do better if we want to, not even for the food that we eat. It is not good for us. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you help us even get through that and get over that. Some things we think we can't get rid of, but God will help us to get rid of it. We got to come to know the Lord, and we got to come to know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, before it's too late, praise the Lord. And look back over your life and see what a wonderful God he is and how much he took care of us when we know we didn't deserve it. But he's seen something in, that, in us that we didn't even see and know. And I thank God I found out that I'm a child of God and I love it. I love being, being saved and, and love God and worshiping him by faith and seeing him work in my life, in my family's life, and other people's lives. And then testify that he is, he is real. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm so glad about it. Pray like 10, touch, save, heal. Lord Jesus, have mercy on the wars and rumors of wars and all that going on. Lord Jesus, have mercy, Lord. I pray to bring peace for everybody, Lord Jesus. Please, Lord, I pray. And ask in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Truly, God is so good to us. And we ask God to help us to be good to one another. Pray for one another. Don't want to see nothing bad happen to one another. Let's not be evil against one another. God love us, and we want to love others to spread that joy and that love and that peace about God to others. Praise God. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.